Welcome to the world of wild theater. We're about to meet Abby, our Abyssinian ground hornbill, or northern ground hornbill. These birds come from the northern regions of Africa, and they're primarily ground birds, like their name suggests. Now, when you get a chance to see them in just a moment, you're going to see why they spend most of their time on the ground. And that has to do with their very large size. Now, because they are bigger birds, flying takes a lot of energy for them, but they can fly when they're roosting at night, and they can fly if they need to avoid predators. Now, you can see him using that beak, which is adapted to catch food, things like snakes, lizards, he can even pound into tortoise shells. Oh, I dropped it, Abby. Let's see if you can show off your flying abilities. We're going to go straight this direction. Oh, we got to get that chicken down first. There he goes. Nicely done, Abby. And all the way back down here whenever you're ready, sir. Nicely done. All right, can you sit? What a handsome bird. Good job, Abby. Now, these guys, like I mentioned, that beak is well designed to work to get food, like snakes, lizards, even vegetation. But they also have a near immunity to snake venom, which is really cool. That keeps them nice and safe. Hey, Abby, why don't you go take a peek at our visitors over there? Nice job, bird. You can get a nice close look at those gorgeous eyelashes. And there's Abby forging for rocks. He does that very well. Now, he's doing a behavior that we call parading, where he'll pick up an item that he thinks is precious and show it around. They will do that with their significant others in the wild, where they actually do um, spend years and years together in the same mated pair. Hey, Abby, you want to come down here one more time? You got it. There's lots of rocks up there. I know. This is a pretty fun game. Now, when Abby does this, <laughs> you guys might wonder why I'm not going and getting Abby or calling his name over and over again. This is a part of our training program here at New Atlanta. So when Abby's ready, I'll call him back down to the stage. But as long as he's playing, I'm going to let him play. It's totally up to him what he wants to do at this time. Abby, are you ready? All the way down here. Good job, buddy. Nicely done. Thank you for coming back. But his time is his to enjoy. And as you notice, there is no wires or nets keeping these birds here in the theater. It's entirely our positive reinforcement training. Now, I mentioned that beak. I'll mention it again. It's also useful for getting stabbing into tortoise shells. Extremely hard beak, really good use of getting food that way. Now he also has that beautiful colored pouch under his chin, that throat pouch there. That's going to help him produce sound. In fact, he'll duet with his partner, the male singing half the song, the female singing another half of the song. Abby, you want to show off those wings again? How about you go up that way? Nice job, sir. And all the way back down here. Nicely done. Very nice job. Now, uh, that throat pouch also you'll see is blue and red. That lets us know that Abby is a boy. The female northern ground hornbills only have a single color on their throat pouch, just a blue color. And their southern ground hornbill friends are opposite, with males having one color and females having two. All right, Abby, you've done a great job. Your attention span isn't always the greatest, so we're going to feed you a couple of last little bits here. Abby today is getting Mises pieces with an M. We're going to let him head off stage in just a moment. Couple more pieces, sir. One more right there. Very dexterous with that beak. Very nice job, and we'll see you later.